guys, it is almost a balmy night after this humid day here in the end times. Upstate New York, it is now Tuesday, October 25th, 2022. I notice it is two degrees cooler here right now than it is in Inverness, Florida, where I would have been heading a year ago. Uh, they're talking about 70 degrees in the first week of November, so uh, I'm damn glad I'm not on the road heading south. It's going to be gorgeous right here, but speaking of beautiful days in the end times, never let it be said that we never have good news to share. It has happened again, and uh, I noticed a pattern about that this is the only good news that there ever is to share, but uh, I want to, uh, every time I read an article like this, it just puts a big smile on my uh, eco-Nazi face. Coming out of India, we have, we have one less Indian on the planet to, uh, to worry about today as we're culling the herd and that would be the herd culling the herd as elephants in India get revenge on man involved in death of calf. <clears throat> as the saying goes, an elephant never forgets whether it is cruelty or compassion. According to Newsweek, elephants trampled a man who killed a one-year-old calf that belonged to the herd. This is just the latest in a string of stories involving elephants exacting revenge on cruel humans. Last summer, a 68-year-old Indian woman was stomped to death by an elephant. If that wasn't shocking enough, several elephants went to her funeral flung her corpse in the air and destroyed her home. It is believed that the woman may have been part of an elephant poacher group. Do you think so? On the flip side, elephants are also capable of showing appreciation for humans who have shown them kindness. And you can find this video on YouTube. When conservationist Lawrence Anthony died in 2012, a herd of elephants traveled 12 hours to stand vigil at his house. So what is the latest uh, thing to cheer on the elephants? <clears throat> Newsweek reported that villagers in Korba and Korba had allegedly killed the calf earlier in the week and buried it in Bania village. Pintawar Singh was looking after his cattle when a herd of 44 elephants approached and trampled him. All right. And now the elephants have trampled my computer. Um, but obviously we all know where this is going. As uh, Manga Bay is always reporting, Duncan, that human and elephant conflicts are common. Duncan McNair, the founder of Save the Asian Elephants, weighed in, quote, <clears throat> undoubtedly this was retaliatory action by the herd upon the very person who took the life of one of their young, seeking him out and those around him for retribution, he said. So, uh, you know, I was just saying we need to uh, put some noble savages on the Supreme Court and, and get rid of these little pussies these fucking little limp dick lefties and all of this uh, being opposed to capital punishment. A fucking elephant. A fucking elephant. 
uh, is smarter than, than any fucking little limp dick lefty uh, opposed to capital fucking punishment. Good for the fucking elephants. Now, we just need to uh, get humans to be as smart as elephants. You know? When villagers harm or kill elephants for destroying their crops or just for sport, elephants sometimes retaliate the herd responsible for Singh's death uh, also damaged 22 acres of crops in two days. Crop raiding incidents often stem from the elephants being forced out of their habitat to find food and water. So long as the battle for resources, this is called a resource war, so long as the battle for resources continues between humans and elephants in India, violent outcomes will happen. And of course, you know, this is true. Uh, you know, once we've killed all the elephants, and obviously, guys, uh, the elephants are going to lose the resource war in India and Africa. It's clear who's going to lose that resource war. But once all, once the humans uh, have killed all the elephants, then uh, we will see uh, what these resource wars start looking like. Well, we already have these resource wars going over there in Africa that nobody's talking about. So what else? Uh, do we have to learn about elephants as long as we're here? Uh, in addition to great memory, elephants are some of the smartest creatures in the animal kingdom. Yeah, they're smarter than humans in terms of capital punishment. Typically, they are docile, but when crossed, they are a force to be reckoned with. McNair explained, quote, elephants are immensely intelligent. Their brains weigh 10 pounds or more and have complex surface folds and a highly developed hippocampus, which enables profound emotions of grief, compassion, humor, role-playing, and anger. So, while they are a gentle and recessive species, if roused by threats or attacks, they can be deadly." Close quote. So what happened to the body of the calf? Newsweek reported that officials uncovered the calf's body from a farm in the village where it had been buried to hide it. The owner of the farm was detained by officials. It's not clear if Singh was involved in killing the calf. Not clear my ass. Uh, it most certainly is clear. It's clear as fucking Cairo syrup. Uh, if you did not know this, elephants are an endangered species. Do you think so? World Wildlife Fund issued a sobering statistic. Asian elephant numbers have roughly halved in the last 60 to 75 years. Bullshit. I would say they're down 90%. Just taking a wild guess. McNair and others have called for humane ways to care for those elephants still with us. Save the Asian elephants urges genuine sanctuaries and wildlife reserves where elephants are observed from a safe and respectful distance. He also called for an end to brutal elephant attractions. <clears throat> so, uh, there you go. Uh, let's hear from the first comment from Randy Marsh. Good. I hope he suffered. I hope the elephants take revenge on anyone who took 
part in the killing of that calf. So the culprits get reincarnated as nice, juicy burgers. 52 thumbs up, zero thumbs down. Good. Goodbye and good riddance to another clueless fucking moron in India. What a fucking loss to the planet. Anyway, uh, get out there and uh, save an elephant while you still can. Oh, I guess Sandy's show's coming on, so I gotta get over here and watch uh, Sandy's show, but one more quick one because Hambone is in love again, not with an elephant. <laughs>